you know, today is a bittersweet day. And uh, it's tough. Today I sold the PCX 150. And, you know, I put a lot of love into this bike. We made a lot of cool videos. We, you know, replaced the shocks. We put that cheeky seat on it. That nice new windshield. Took care of those rims. All the different cool things that I shared with you all that was this PCX 150. And it's an awesome bike, folks. It really is. But ultimately, I can't have... 20 scooters in my garage. Plus, these are not art. You know, as much as you love them, you really want them to be ridden as well. And because I was not riding the bike, I thought it was an injustice, just like the ruckus. If you're not going to use it, walking in your garage and just saying hello to it, you know, it's not fair to this bike. It really deserves to be ridden. And the couple that came over today, they instantly fell in love with it. They have some property that they want to ride it around on. And that's awesome because I think that was the path that was meant for me. Save this from one person who didn't take care of it and fix it all up for a family who will. So I'm trying to make it, make it seem like a positive, but I wanted to give it one last video and say I hope that uh, I hope they really care for the bike. And love it the way that I did. And uh, today is goodbye to the PCX 150. And I hope it serves them for many, many years. But let's turn this frown upside down. We got a new project in our garage. Welcome back to Ruby the Elite. And first I wanted to update you on a current project. Just so you know, it has not gone forgotten about. The Elite 250. I've got three volumes so far on this bike. And volume four will include the brake cable now, folks. I was backing the bike out and the brake cable broke at my hand. And uh, <laughs> I was happy that happened while I was still in the driveway. But, you know, when it comes to uh, repairing that type of thing, I didn't want to repair it a second time because I noticed it was repaired already once prior. And you know what? I think that was a sign to get a new cable. So I purchased a new one. I'm waiting for it to come in. But there's something else that I wanted to report on as well, something I found that I was so excited and I want to share it with you today. You know, I had talked about before how scratched up the front end on this bike is and I was going to put, you know, some, you know, decals or pinstripes. It really doesn't show how much it's scratched, especially the other side, which I don't want to go over there because then it's going to unveil the new project. But you would... <laughs> You look at the front of the bike and you really, you know, it's one of those things where you want to keep it the original color. You don't want to paint it, but you don't like the way it looks. So I found something that's going to help with that. Look what I have here. A brand spanking new old stock front. Incredible. It is gorgeous. It's going to make such a difference when I go to put this on the bike. Removing that scratched up one and adding this. I couldn't believe I found it. You know, it's one of those things when you find a part, you just jump at it and you buy it. And, you know, taking the bottom off and repairing that, I think it can do that. You know, the marks on the bottom piece, but the top, you know, I didn't know exactly what I was going to do. And here I think putting this new piece on and I've got some Honda decals I'm going to put on each side with the wing and uh, it's going to be cool to share that with you once uh, I go ahead and start taking it apart. So we got to finish this project first. So don't think I'm jumping to the one that I'm about to share 
We are going to continue and get this bike done. That's going to be volume four. That's going to be the next video that comes out. And uh, we're going to finish this bike up. And then we will move on to the new one that I just bought. The new project. The new replacement for the PCX 150. You know, take one out of the garage and you add a new one in. I'm supposed to be taking, a, <laughs> taking these bikes away. But you know, at the end of the day, what's going to happen is I'm going to have four or five bikes that I'm going to be able to enjoy and always ride. Ultimately, that's been the goal. Have bikes that I can enjoy, not just have them be eye candy and sit in my garage, like I had mentioned in that first part of the PCX video. You know, if it's just going to sit in my garage and nobody's going to ride it, then what good is it? So this Elite 250 will go anywhere that Morphous will go. You know, it's got an 80 mile an hour top speed, probably somewhere around there. It's a quick bike. It'll be fun to ride. But, you know, once this is done, I think I got one more video, maybe two at the most. I needed a new project to move on to. And uh, we're going to have vlogs and stuff. Those are coming as well, probably in the spring. But I wanted to have something to work on this winter. And I was so excited when I found this. You have no idea. Extremely excited. So without further ado, I don't want to delay you anymore. Take a look at our new winter project. And here she is, folks. My new to me 1999 Honda Helix. And what a beautiful bike she is. You know, any of you who have been watching my channel over the years, you know I've been wanting one of these. I've been waiting to find a really nice one, and I found a really nice one. You know, I came across these with 30,000 miles, a couple with 25, 30. You know, I didn't want one that I was going to have to rebuild. I wanted something, you know, with right around four or 5,000 miles. They got ridden every once in a while and maintained. And what I found was, let me turn this on for you. It's actually something that I usually don't look for or even care about. And that's one with no miles. This has got 423 actual miles. This bike was hardly ridden, hardly enjoyed. I don't know why, you know, I'm not uh, the previous owner. So I don't know why they didn't ride it or why it just sat. I guess, uh, you know, sometimes life takes you in different ways and takes you on different paths. But if he is watching this video, I want him to know he sold it to somebody who's going to love the bike. He's going to bring a bunch of videos on this, showing service videos, you know, tuning this bike up, as well as even some versus videos against my Yamaha Morphous. We'll see how the two bikes stack up against each other. That's going to be a lot of fun to bring those to you. But this was just an introduction. I wanted to show you what my winter project is. And it's a Helix. And it's about time. So if you like my videos and you want to know about what happens with this bike, then you need to hit that notification button after you've subscribed, of course. And give me a thumbs up if you like my content. But first, we got to finish up the Elite 250. That's coming soon with Volume 4. I'll see you soon.